May 16th, Thursday of the seventh week of Easter, John 17, 20-26. A father had a family of sons who were perpetually quarreling among themselves. When he failed to heal their disputes, by his exhortations he determined to give them a practical illustration of the evils of this union one day he told his sons to bring him a bundle of sticks when they had done so he placed the fagot into the hands of each of them in succession and ordered them to break it in pieces. They tried with all their strength and were not able to do it. He next opened the fagot, took the sticks separately one by one, and again put them into his son's hands, upon which they broke them easily. He then addressed them in these words, My sons, if you are of one mind and unite to assist each other, you will be as strong as this fagot uninjured by all the attempts of your enemies. But if you are divided among yourselves, you will be broken as easily as these sticks. In today's passage, Jesus continued his prayer for his disciples. Jesus had experienced the tension and conflict that arose among his disciples at times. He also realized that if they were divided or at odds with one another, they would not be able to carry out his mission. Jesus prayed not only for his disciples, but he also prayed for all who would believe in him, no matter what century or nation the believers would live in. Jesus longs for you and me to be one with him and with God, just as he longed for his disciples to experience this loving unity. Unity becomes our greatest witness to the world of God's loving purposes on earth. In Jesus' own words, Christ's greatest aim is our oneness. Put another way, in his prayer to the Father, Jesus says that we humans haven't known the Father the way that he has. And he wants to change that. Jesus wants to make us get caught up in the love of the Trinity to be swept away by the glory of the Godhead, to be lost in the mystery of ultimate reality. If we were to be so caught up, then we would truly show the world who God is. We might become image bearers of the God who is three persons 
in unity ever and always seeking the good of all that exists wishing you a good day father paul csr from kerala